Well, I don't know what happened, but um, running Golang in Ubuntu is much faster than Windows. So today I'm going to record my videos in uh, Ubuntu instead. Right, so let's continue our progress last time. Okay, just a bit of recap. Um, last time I was managed to do the to-do list when where we can add new item and we can then remove it after uh, if, we wa if we don't want the item. However, this doesn't feel right because I do have one uh, input here but after I add in the to-do, it's not supposed to stay open because it's already added. So now it's it stays open this way. Then I need to press the close in order to make it back to the add to-do button. So that is not ideal. Um, the ideal scenario is that as soon as I press the tick, it will add in the new to-do item. At the same time, it will, re it will re um, revert or change this input field, the row, into the button. To do that, I found an extension under HTMX that is called multi-swap and this is ex uh, um, very important in the scenario because well our HTML essentially these two are different entities so in order to change both together there are two ways the first one is that we structure the HTML file in a way that um, we swap when we do swapping we swap the entire almost entire page like the, the button and also the to do cuts all together. This is the first way. Whereas the second way is that I tell HTMX that oh this is the list of elements. I want your you to swap the element the first element into the button and then the second element into the to do cuts. And to achieve that this extension is very important. Let me show you how it works. First way is installing in our tempo file right below the HTMX. Right now we have the multi swap. And secondly, uh, we want to restructure our code a bit so that we can do the swapping seamlessly. First is the add to do section. Right. ID is very important in terms of the communication between HTMX and our server. So we want to sync it so that our backend knows exactly what ID is like the from ID and the to ID meaning that the elements to be swapped have to share the same ID which makes us having to change the add to do button here the ID from add to do btn back to the add to do section so essentially the add to do button is the same element as our add to do input a bit confusing but uh, after this I think you can see um, why am I doing this way already Okay, so multi swap extension is used by using the hash hash x ext multi swap. So this is how we enable it in our template. So we just pr uh, paste the extension in. So when our when we click the check button, it will then associate with the multi swap to do the multiple elements swapping. And the syntax here is that it is called hash x swap so there's no more target I don't need the target anymore but the swapping I will put in the multi and colon with the ID selectors the first one be add to do section and I want it to swap the outer HTML and I want the second item to be separated by comma called add to do uh, to do swap with the outer HTML as well so this line it tells HTMX that when I receive the HTML response from our server, I want to look up the HTML provided by the server and then patch whatever element with the ID of add to do section into the add to do section ID. And the to do's to the to do's element. Okay, so now we are swapping the two components, but it's not enough for our server yet. If we reload it and we try to inspect the element and we press a tick now we still see the same thing where our item is added into the list but the to-do input is not swap yet why because there is this warning mentioning that the HTMX swap at to-do section was not found in the source content 
source content in this sense is actually the HTML response returned by the server, which means that our server, right, our post is returning the to-do cards, but it doesn't return us the button that is supposed to swap. So, uh, very simply, we can add in a components. Um, say, for example, uh, we use this to-do cards as a a new component. So it's to do cards with btn dot temple, and this temple file is the key to which we can tell the use tell, tell the server to return us the component that we want. So to do cards. So first of all, yeah, it needs to return to do cards, and secondly, it needs to return the add to do button. Okay, ho hope this makes sense to you. Basically, um, this is the helper function that wraps both components together so this function can then be called by our index.temple by uh, sorry called by our main.go so instead of using the to-do cards it will return the to-do cards with button both elements being returned by the server reload it we press a the check then it works now okay let me try to put it in this way when we see the network uh, after adding something adding in the response of a to-do is actually um, how can I make it bigger? Okay, the response of the input is actually the list of uh, the first thing being the list of to-dos, and the second thing being the add to-do section. And because of we are using multi-swap, the first ID to-dos will be swapped to the to-dos uh, and uh, the the section with ID to-dos, which is the bottom section. And then the ID of add to do section will then be swapped with the ID with add to do sections. That exactly we can see the element right here before swapping. Right? Before swapping, we can see already add to do section is here and our to do's is right here. So it will swap both elements. And just to recap very quickly, our chat button we have the uh, extension of hash x x ext. And we have a hash x swap. So we are swapping multiple elements. Add to do section. Out the HTML, swap the entire object out. And we also swap the to do's out. Well, I guess that's all for the sharing today. Thanks.